Tonight, the city of St. Joseph is remembering Jacob Wetterling and paying respects to his family. Some came to the Wetterling home to lay flowers at the end of their driveway. Nina Moyni is in St. Joseph, and she joins us live where many people are grieving there tonight. Nina. Hi, so many people, that's right, throughout these years, both nationally and here in our own state, have felt so invested in the Wetterling family's very difficult journey. And the people of St. Joseph have really felt that the deepest. A lot of them telling me today this isn't the way anyone had hoped that this would end, but they are hoping that the Wetterlings will finally have some peace after 27 years. We were all in that church service that night. The same place they gathered in 1989 when Jacob was taken. After these many years of praying and holding on the hope for Jacob. The prayers were different on this night. Herb and Darlene Beck told hoped for a long time that Jacob Wetterling would be found safe. Of course, from that moment on, life changed because you were afraid to let your kids go for a bike ride, although when you were afraid to let your kids go out of your sight. As the years passed by in St. Joseph, he was never far from people's hearts. For Jacob. Everybody in this community has been talking about him all day and our whole my whole life. Lindsay Vitacek doesn't know the family, but she cares. Visiting the last place Jacob was seen alive. I just wanted to show support for Patty and the Wetterlings and just give some kind of love. It wasn't the ending they hoped for. Emotionally, the whole town. Yet somehow, they feel their prayers have been answered. Jacob is found. We've been here for them, with them, for all this time, and hoping and praying, and thank God, finally. The Wetterlings are right now very understandably asking for their privacy to begin grieving this loss. And everyone here in the town, the people at this church behind me say that when they're ready, they'll be waiting here for them at the church to have another vigil and begin this long road to healing for the Wetterlings. Everybody, as they have been through this entire journey, still so eager to offer the Wetterlings their support. Liz, Jen. So much support. You can certainly see that today. Nina, thank you.